Good afternoon, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd make a video. I was looking at my YouTube channel and I think it's going on 24 hours since I made a video. And so I don't think I'm... Um, I, I don't want to make a video every day. I like a time to a time break when I make a video. Yeah, I, I was looking at when I st first started making videos about five years ago. I used to make a video all the time. And now I try to break it up. But it's a it's a Saturday here in West Michigan. It is going on 4.30 in the afternoon or late afternoon. It is March the 6th. 2021 like I said it's a Saturday I've been sitting in my main study uh, basically reading my books and writing in my diary my paper diary I'm on page uh, 243 for the for the year 2021 I also have been listening to music on my uh, portable CD player. I've been listening to Arab Strap. They have a new album out. It's been like 16, 17 years since they made an, uh, put out an album and I just pre-ordered it and I've been listening to an earlier album by them. Uh, Mad for Sadness. They're a band, just two guys out of Glasgow, Scotland. So I've been listening to them. Uh, my CD player. I've had this thing for almost 15 years and it still plays uh, really great. I got these really nice stereo headphones. I've been reading this afternoon primarily this book, uh, Late Medieval Mysticism of the Low Countries. It's in the classics of Western spirituality. I've shown these, this uh, series put up by Paulus Press. I've really been blessed by this edition. I really, I'm, I'm so glad that I bought this. Um, this is my, one of my favorite editions, is the Carthusian spirituality, the writings of Hugh of Blama, Blama and Gaio de Pont of classing Western spirituality. I read this every year and I also like this one. Uh, John Ruhrbrick, uh, uh, Spiritual Spousals and Other Works. And uh, so these are my favorites. I also, oh I do have another one it's over in the other shelf. Let me get it for you. Let me show you. It's this one. The Cloud of Unknowing. And the Classics of Western Spirituality. This is one of my favorite all-time books. Uh, uh, along with the Carthusian Spirituality and uh, John of Rudebrick and this is one of my favorite books. Uh, I highly recommend this book in the classics Western Spirituality. So yeah, it's been a kind of a normal day here in West Michigan. Kind of sunny. It, it just has that feeling that it's becoming spring and it's getting warmer where it's predicted to get up to 60 degrees next week. So I'm kind of excited about that. I like it when winter is past because then you know spring is coming, then you got summer and then you got fall. And I, those are my favorite season, seasons of the year. So I'm looking forward to spring and I like opening the windows up in the morning and hearing the birds singing and I like going outside and seeing flowers blooming. Uh, last year we had uh, landscaping done on our property and I had them 
uh, put in a flower garden, take out the old soil and put it in new soil. And so I look forward to planting uh, flowers, uh, wildflowers this, I don't know, it's probably the end of May when you start planting seeds. So I've been reading the Bible today on uh, the, uh, the gospel narratives of the temptation of Christ in the wilderness and uh, the beginning of his ministry that's recorded in the Gospel of John. Uh, I was reading this afternoon there in the Gospel of John about the beginning of Christ's ministry where it says, let me see if I can find it. So it's been a normal day. We had our granddaughter over at Josie Joy for an overnight. She went home around 1230 so yeah, um, here in the Gospel of John, we read there in chapter 1. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is he whom I said, after he, me comes a man who is preferred before me, for he was before me. I did not know him but that he should be revealed to Israel. Therefore I came baptizing with water. And John bore witness, saying, I saw the Spirit descending from heaven like a dove, and he remained upon him. And I did not know him, but he who sent me to baptize with water said to me, Upon whom you see the Spirit descending and remaining on him, this is he who baptizes with the Holy Spirit. And I have seen and testify that this is the Son of God. Again the next day, John stood with his two disciples and looking at Jesus and as he walked and said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him and speak and they followed Jesus. So I was reading that. Also I've been looking at this book, the Puritan Piety, Writings in Honor of Joel R. Beakey, edited by Michael A. G. Hagen and Paul M. Smalley. Looking at this book, The Spirit of Holiness, Reflections on Biblical Spirituality, by Terry Lelaney and Roger D. Duke, editors. Yeah, yeah I highly recommend The Cloud of Unknowing and the classics of Western spirituality. And I've been really enjoying reading the late medieval mysticism in the Low Countries and the classics of Western spirituality series. I also have this book I've shown in the past. I highly recommend it. The Spiritual Life by Camp Campicus Van Grindingen, translated and edited by Charles K. Tel Telfer. And yeah, that's about it. This morning, I read for devotions as I've shown this. This is uh, part one, volume one, chapters one through four, The Life of Jesus Christ. And I have on my desk uh, part one, volume two, chapters 41 to 92, The Life of Jesus Christ by Rudolph of Saxony. And I also have just got this a couple weeks ago. The Life of Jesus Christ, Volume Part 2, Volume 1, Chapters 1 through 57, by Rudolf of Saxony. Translated by Milton T. Wash. So I hope you're having a good Saturday. We're going into a new week. Uh, tomorrow is a Sunday. Tomorrow will be uh, March the 7th. And uh, so I've just been reading these books and reading the Bible and writing in my paper diary. It is now 4.39 in the afternoon here in West Michigan on a sunny, warm day. It's a Saturday. 
listening to the music of Arab Strap. And uh, so, yeah. So I hope you uh, have a good new reading week tomorrow. I do have a pile of used books. I've got thrift stores this week. And maybe tomorrow when Carol's at church, I'll do that. Or I might do Monday Reads. We'll just see how the Spirit leads. So hope you uh, are doing well. Get vaccinated. Wear a mask. Practice social distancing. Don't become um, too secure. The plague is still raging. So until next time, bye.